original image of King Edward VII. This is the second image. As you can see, the image is very, 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 very unclear. There's not a lot of definition, so we don't really have a lot of information to work with. This image we've taken and we put a higher, slightly slightly higher resolution into it so that we can bring out the colours of the sculpture and we get more detail so that we can replicate it more precisely. This is what his current situation is. He's missing an arm here and a head and a piece of his toe. So what we need, what this whole process is doing is we're taking this sculpture back to its original state, as close to its original state as we can possibly go to. And these are just the first photographs to give us an idea of, of what we need to replicate. Then of course we took photos of, we researched King Edward VII on the internet, and these are original images of his life. Um, so we were looking at trying to get more detail of what he actually looked like. So the process is this, when we were in Melbourne we take a latex model of the shoulders of King Edward VII and then we brought the latex model to the studio. We then replicated that, we made the, we put plaster of Paris into it so that we have a gesso sculpture which is the exact replication of the shoulders which will give us the, all the dimensions that we need. Um, and from there we scanned, we scanned it on a 3D computer modeling program. So now from here, what we've done is we've made a 3D dimensional head of King Edward. Now we make it transparent, the image underneath, so that we can make sure that we're really on the right process. So now we can be sure that we have the right angle of the head, and from here we use the measurements of the three-dimensional program, and we send the measurements to the computer, to the robot, and then from the robot, we create the 3D object that we just made, which is the head. beautiful yellow to it, it's a statuario. And if you put it up to the sculpture in the light, you can see that it's very, very similar. And this is the, it took a long time to find. Okay, so this is the block of statuario that we're using to replicate, that we're using to cut the marble from. So we've recreated the block of marble onto the computer to make sure that the hand and the head will go inside. And here you can see the, the head and the hand inside the block. This just ensures that we're cutting the block correctly.
cast the mold of the sculpture that we took when we were in the studio in Australia. Here we've taken the plaster, we've put it into the mold, the latex mold that we created, and here are the shoulders, it gives us the exact dimensions. Also you can see some of the detail that you can see in the sculpture. So here's the collar of the sculpture, and we can see exactly how to put the head onto the sculpture here, and then we will put it onto this at the end of the process, and then when we get back to Melbourne, we'll be able to put it straight onto the exact same marble.